All right, so they just got into the sixth circle, right? And the first thing they see is a whole bunch of graves getting set on fire. Those dudes are the heretics. Of course, why not? Heretics set on fire forever. And you see the poetic justice in that? I don't see the poetic justice in that, but that's okay, because, you know, there's not, a lot, there's not a whole lot of poetic justice going around in here. Anyway, Dante is walking among the tombs, and this dude sits up, and he's like, Hey, Dante, talk to me about the politics in Florence! And Dante is like, Okay, I love talking about the politics in Florence. Everybody in hell wants to talk about fucking Florence with Dante. He's like, he's in a place that is designed to contain, like, the vast majority of everyone who has ever existed and everyone who ever will exist and everybody wants to talk about fucking Florence with him. I want to write my own descent into hell. I'll, I'll meet like all of the sweet guitar players and like Tony Hawk. But like, anyway, I don't even like Tony Hawk. I don't know why I said that. But anyway, so then like stuff happens. He's talking to these dudes and this other dude sits up and he's asking like, what happened to my kid? And Don is like, I don't fucking know, sit down. And the other dude's like, hey, I can see in the future, but I can't see the present. And Dante's like, that's not a punishment. Actually, Dante doesn't say that. I say that. That's not a punishment. If you can see into the future, but you can't see the present, then eventually you're going to be able to see the present because it's going to be in the future. The, 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 the future that you're seeing right now is eventually going to be the present. So you're seeing it right now. And then you're going to see the moment after that. And that's like the present. And it's just like, and you get to see it. It's like, basically, you get to live in the future. It's really sweet because you got like flying cars and robot hover cycle nano sight fucking horses with sweet wheels and all of that shit but the guy doesn't see it that way i guess because he's in hell and he's being set on fire and that tends to put a damper on the way that you experience the world but anyway then dante like moves on he's walking with virgil and they smell this horrible stench so they can't go on for a little while longer like they sit down until their noses get used to it and they start talking about like what they got to expect in the rest of the circles of hell now friends if you're any kind of like a super math genius, then you've probably already figured out that, okay, we're in circles, we're, we're in circles one through six, we've done, right? We're done with those. And there are nine circles total. Therefore, we are two thirds of the way through hell. Eh, wrong. You know why you're wrong? Because you're stupid. You know why you're stupid? Because Dante's stupid. You know why Dante's stupid? Because Dante, he's like, he's writing this book, right? And he's like, okay, I'm going to put nine circles in hell. Nine's a good number. They did it in the Lord of the Rings and it worked, so I'll do that. So he's writing it, and he's like going along, he gets to the sixth circle of hell where we are right now, and he's like, fuck, I've already wasted circles one through six, and I have so many more dudes that I hate, what am I going to do? Oh, I know, I'll just divide the remaining three circles up into multiple circles. So there's not three circles left, my friends, there's like 15 gajillion circles left. And this is where Dante finally starts to let us in on that clusterfuck of a fact. Although, really, he doesn't even stick to the plan that he lays out here, as we'll find out. But, okay, so he's like, okay, what, what we got next? And Virgil's like, okay, in the seventh circle, we got three divisions. Because it's all about violence. Yeah, if you commit violence, then you get sent down to hell and they violence the fuck out of you forever. Well, that doesn't make sense. I'm, 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 anyway, there, there, there are three kinds of violence that there are. There's violence against the neighbor, violence against yourself, and violence against God. And uh, so, and then circles eight and nine are, 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 are for different kinds of fraud. Like, circle eight is for regular fraud. And circle nine is for betrayal. So betrayal is the worst thing of all. That makes sense, at least. There are these occasional islands of sanity in this river of bullshit that we are rafting down at top speed with our host, Dante! Anyway, so uh, then Dante is like, all right, well, that, that makes sense. But I actually have a question. Like, what is, why, what's with the tiered system? Like, why, why are some people getting punished worse than other people? And Virgil is like, oh, well, that's simple. That's because of something that Plato wrote, apparently. No, we're not basing this on anything written in the Bible or anything. No, it's all based on, you know, Greek philosophers who are in hell. Yes. But uh, apparently that they have more valuable things to say about morals than the people who actually created this hell. Anyway, what, what, what Plato says is that there are three kinds of being a jackass. There is incontinence. There is malice. And there is insane brutality! And, and malice and insane brutality are like the really bad shit that God super punishes. He doesn't punish people so bad for incontinence. Which makes sense, because I don't think that you should get sent to the ninth circle of hell for not being able to control your piss. But anyway, that seems to resolve that question for Dante, so he moves on to, Okay, so why should we hate the Jews? Oh, I know, usury. So why is usury bad? And, uh, and, and Virgil's like, oh, well, you know, it goes against art? Because you're making money off money? I don't know, man. We gotta come up with some excuse, though, right? And Dante's like, yeah. And Virgil's like, let's just agree to hate them. And Dante's like, okay. So, and then, uh, let's see. 
they, they pretty much, you know, resolved all of their questions. So they get up, and their noses are accustomed to the horrible stench, and they start going down into the seventh circle of hell. But that shit is so big that that part is a story for another time.